live with Joffers McCormick. Hello. And Yanni Lawrence. Hi and there. no one is watching at the moment, you see. Nine seconds in, and we have no viewers. But when it's replayed, they will see this introduction. Still no viewers. <laughs> no. Nothing. Still no viewers. Hi. Hi, Jamie. That's not in any way creepy, actually. No. Hello. Four viewers. Is anybody there? Right. There we go. Oh, Good evening. So, hello, evening, everybody. Everyone. There is Yanni. Hi. There is Joffers. Hello. Yes. And uh, you're welcome to ask them any questions you'd like to over the course of the next 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to ask them anything, well, well, Starting not personal, now. I suppose, but, uh, you know, anything you like. So that's a very kind uh, hello from James yeah. Richard. Oh, yeah. Hello, Kathy. Kathy. So a quietish drive today. Uh, we have, just to give you a while you're all logging on, we had a bit of an issue with the other vehicles today, Jamie. Yeah. Talk yes. us through your 30 yes. seconds of effort today. My 30 seconds of effort while I was racing around... Hello, I'm going to share the chair with you. Uh -huh. um, while I was racing around trying to check and sort out the bush pa bushwalk backpack. Mm. And then we had a lovely 30-minute elephant's flighting. Yes. Thereafter? And thereafter, it got dark. And thereafter, that woman had to do everything on her and own. And it was quite a big job. But and uh, she did it very well, from yes. what very I hear. Successful. I very girl power drive for a little while, wasn't it? Yeah. Woo, good power. <laughs> and Joffers, what did you do this afternoon? Uh, this afternoon, we went to go track a, a leopard, um, myself and one of the local trackers, one of the Shangan trackers, to try and find one. I know we didn't find one this morning on this morning's drive. We had a lot of tracks out. Um, so we went straight to one of the drainage lines where often leopards hang about. Um, and we, we tried for, for Yanni to, to find a leopard, um, which eventually she was successful with, with, with getting the, the female and the two cubs. Short but very sweet sighting, you know, something very lucky to see. Um, yeah, it was quite exciting, at least uh, I did get a glimpse of Karula, who's everyone's favourite, with the two cubs. Uh, unfortunately, it was just for a little, very short while, but uh, it was nice getting that experience and also seeing uh, well, sharing uh, the sighting with all of you that love Karula so dearly. Right, now Karen Ugly would like to know where you all from? Where you from? Well, Jaffers? Jaffers is... Uh, I grew up in Zimbabwe. Um, I was born in South Africa but grew up in Zimbabwe. Um, but I'm based still in Johannesburg. Um, but hardly ever leave the bush. When we do go on leave, we go from one lodge to another, and we, we go visit friends all of... Hello, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we go from one lodge to another and visit friends all over the show. So, what I say is, home is where the heart is. And that's, that's well, the best That, that is certainly, certainly original. Uh, and you are from, Yanni? <laughs> well, I'm from the Northwest Province in South Africa. To just give you a little bit of a better idea, is it's the first province... Up in the north of South Africa, just south of the border of Botswana. Uh, so it's a little bit more of an arid area, uh, absolutely beautiful. So what's I there? Up, but I've been living in the bush for the past eight years, and um, it's something that I can call my home as well. Right, and uh, what do you find there other than platinum mines? <laughs> few uh, cornfields, you get sun, uh, sunflower fields, it's a lot of agricultural uh, well, agricultural farming area, a lot of huge cattle farms, um, what I usually sometimes say is it is the South African version of Texas, if I can call it that. Right, okay, South African version of Texas, uh, warts and all I guess. Uh, uh, Brian, um, Hanali Gypsy Girl says, OMG, that Brian's a sweet eye candy. Love you, Brian. Brian! <laughs> yes. Brian, you, Brian you need to come and talk to Hanali Gypsy Girl who says, OMG, that Brian is sweet eye candy. Love you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you blushing? Brian is very pleased. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not blushing. I'm still looking good. Don't worry, Brian. It's just, good. Yes, worry, it's just the red light reflecting on you. Yes, marvellous. Okay. And then you chaps are away from tomorrow. We are indeed. And we, where are you going? We're going to be going to Hoodsprate, which is a local town about 
hour from us where we where we are here. It's a bit of a dubious time, wouldn't you say? A bit of a dubious yeah. time. Yeah. Um, to an extent, yeah. James, to an extent. You know, not quite a, a British time. You think it's improved? Which freight has improved? Yes. Um, it is a it's a beautiful town. It's known as a wildlife haven of South Africa. Really? And I think that's why we love it so much. Okay. Yeah. Good. And we're just going to introduce you to somebody else now. Um, Chelsea. 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 Come over here, Hello. Chelsea. Everybody, Hello. there's Chelsea. Hello. Hi, Chelsea. It's so nice to meet you. She's from America as and well. It's arrived. <laughs> she missed her plane yesterday because I did. she doesn't ever oversleep. Well, I do oversleep, but I never missed a flight before. It's my first one I've ever mm. missed. <laughs> I've flown all over the world, never missed a flight. <laughs> oh, well. Talk us through the... Those are some substantial feathers you have hanging from your earlobes. What are those? Um, these are my new earrings mm -hmm. that were handmade by a woman in Southern California. Right. And I found them at a music festival called Lightning in a Bottle last weekend. Very nice. Yeah, she was, she was such a nice woman, and there were such nice feathers, I had to buy them. <laughs> right, well, welcome. Nice to have, have you with us. I have feathers in my hair, too. They're oh, good. Australian pheasants. Australian pheasants. Yeah. Right. I have seven Australian pheasants. feathers. Hopefully sustainably uh, harvested. They are, yes. They did not decease in the process. They didn't die. In the, oh, good. <laughs> that is very important. It is. Right. And Yanni, what is... I'm a vegan. I do not... You're a vegan. You don't kill things. <laughs> <She> isn't. <laughs> Uh, you okay after Hoodsprout? Where are you going? Uh, for a couple of days to Mozambique. Uh, but uh, tell us what else you do in your spare time, Oh, Yarnie. yes. I'm saving you, the best for last on my leave. I will be going mountain boarding, which I haven't been doing for the past two months. And I'm really, really itching for some good adrenaline. Um, yeah, so I'll be going out. Uh, to an area called Hazy View and then in the surrounded areas doing a little bit of mountain boarding hopefully I don't get any bad injuries broken leg and broken in the heart. Kruger Park what were you going to do it's more so what I was talking about in the Kruger Park I was supposed to go on a wilderness backpack trail and just explain what that is because you, you said you so, mentioned it a few times yeah, okay. and I think so people would basically like to just to explain to you what the wilderness a hike within the Kruger National Park within the wilderness blocks um, where there are no other humans or vehicles or road yeah. systems or so so it's really a truly wilderness experience um, that you get. So basically how it works, it's, there are two armed guides, of course, um, which You'd basically be one I will be one of them, uh, usually as a backup. And uh, we basically lead guests in for a little bit of a different wildlife experience. Um, of course, you've got to provide your own tents, your backpacks, sleeping bags, own food. And in the evenings, looking for camping sites, you basically camp which is the most suitable. Um, of course, also amongst the wilderness animals. Uh, so you do sometimes get it that there's some curious elephants or so, as well as buffalo sometimes grazing right next to your tent while you're trying to sleep. Yum, yum. Now, Lisa Wilma White, you say you still want to know if I drink single malt or blended whiskey. Uh, well, it depends on the blend, really. Normally, a nice single malt is m m I'm partial to. But if it's a good blend, for, from, for example, Compass Box, I'll drink that with a great enthusiasm. Do you drink a blend or a malt? I, I do prefer a malt. You do? I do. What is your favourite malt of choice? I think a single malt would be a Talisco. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. And after our own heart, there Man. is Bentley Smith. He's very happy with that. Hi, everyone. That is not a single malt he's drinking. Yes. It is a vile, vile light beer. Very long time. Sorry, guys. Disgusting. Anyway, good. Right, everybody, that's going to be it from us tonight on Friday night. And just once again, big huge thanks to all of you for your kind words and messages for Sam who has left us. Unfortunately, we are in constant contact with him and we're ob obviously hoping that one day he will pop back here and come and say hi to us. And if you're ever in Cape Town, well, look him up, give him a call. I'm sure he'd be very interested to show you around. It'll be a... You know, the environment of Cape Town, of course, is suited to his very gentle nature. And so, with any luck, you'll be able to see him there. Have a marvellous time on holiday and hopefully we'll see you again too. Have a marvellous time on your holiday. Hopefully we'll see you again thank too. Thank you, James, and thank you too to all the viewers for the day. Yes. And bye. Thanks for the hope along the way. Bye. Goodbye.